Hello everybody, welcome along. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and join us to discuss the latest England squad as we get ever closer to the Euros. Some um, big news for Ollie Watkins and Sam Johnston who have been called up for the first time and some returns as well. Shaw, Stones, Trippier, and Lingard as well. Who would have thunk it um, all in this England squad? So three games coming up this international break. San Marino, Albania and Poland. I do not know whether there's going to be... Um, there's normally a sort of hastily arranged couple of friendlies before every tournament, isn't there? I don't know whether there's enough time or COVID um, will put pay to that. We will see. But it does feel like a big moment for those guys who have managed to get in, um, they're in the building. Can they stay in there now, ready for those Euros? Let's have a look at it. So in terms of goalkeepers, obviously Jordan Pickford is injured. So Sam Johnston gets his first call up. Seen him, um, certainly on my channel, covering the championship. Um, plenty for West Brom and obviously um, defending in a, in a low block Sam Allardyce team. Getting plenty of practice at the moment. Uh, Dean Henderson and Nick Pope are the others. With Jordan Pickford injured, um, does feel somewhat like that goalkeeper's jersey may be a little bit up for grabs at the moment. Pickford has been Southgate's guy, but um, feels a bit up in the air at the moment. Let me know your thoughts on uh, your keeper in the comments. So, in terms of the defenders, the returning players are Luke Shaw, who's been really good for Manchester United, hasn't he? John Stones, who's been really good for um, Manchester City so those both make a lot of sense Kieran Trippier I mean there's been some off the field issues there but he's really been Southgate's guy and we all remember the um, free kick prowess he had in the World Cup don't we Maguire Walker Chilwell James Dyer, Mings and Cody are the other names there uh, one two three four five Six of them are centre-backs, and I'm including Kyle Walker in that, who um, Southgate does like to deploy as a right centre-back. So, um does still look like we're going to be playing three at the back in whatever sort of configuration uh, Southgate ends up with. You never know, but it uh, looks fairly nailed on now, doesn't it? Um, the midfielders um, are Phil Foden, Declan Rice, Jesse Lingard is the big return, and... I guess he kind of deserves it, doesn't he? He just said, I just caught a little bit of the press conference, that Lingard is perhaps a bit luckier than the likes of um, Shaw and Stones because it's been a very quick ascent back. But obviously he's taken that loan at West Ham and he's been really, really good for them. And we know Southgate is a manager who is loyal to the players that he knows and likes and uh, Lingard is a Southgate guy, isn't he? So uh, in he comes back. Uh, Ward-Prowse... Got to get those set plays in, marginal gains, haven't you? Saka, Calvin Phillips, Mason Mount, Jude Bellingham. There's some interest over Bellingham because of the quarantine issues um, with Germany. So I don't know whether um, whether he'll end up pulling out. We do not know. Um, obviously, Jack Grealish should expect to be in there as well. Injury, um, he's been out for probably four or five games now for Aston Villa hasn't he? So um, midfield, you're expecting Southgate or to stick with a double pivot and then you're looking for two players to then play off a main striker. So it kind of all blends in a little bit because um, obviously people like um, Phillips and Rice, uh, particularly Bellingham as well, can play that um, double pivot role. Mason Mount could as well. But then uh, people like Foden are going to be Lingard, more actual attackers really in this system. It'll be interesting to see what Southgate in the end comes up with. Up top, um, as I've just said, you're looking at a number nine with support. Harry Kane's your guy, isn't he? So um, the shirt is his. Uh, then there's Calvert-Lewin, who's the other so, sort of standalone option as a um, bit more of a penalty box player than uh, Harry Kane, who can just basically do everything, can't he? Um, Rashford, Saka, Sterling um, and then 
Ollie Watkins, which is really interesting. Obviously, Saka, Sterling, Rashford are your wide options and you can then throw in a Foden, Lingard, maybe a Mount further forward as sort of wide attackers, inverted wingers, attacking midfield, whatever you want to call them, support strikers. Um, well, he doesn't really play number 10, does he as such, Southgate? Um, so, Ollie Watkins in. First season in the Premier League. Um, bossed it for Brentford in the Championship last season. Off to Villa in the squad. Um, it seems like it was between him and Pat Bamford. So, a real Championship flavour to this um, decision for Southgate. He was asked about Pat Bamford and he said he was very close to being in. So, Watkins gets the nod. I'm sure Leeds and Villa fans will debate that amongst themselves, no doubt. But certainly congratulations to Ollie Watkins. And I mean, how cool is that from Exeter through to uh, Brentford, through to Villa, through to England? What a great um, rise. So big congratulations to him. And he would be another of those guys that um, I know he was a winger uh, in, in a previous um, iteration at Exeter and Brentford. But he's now very much a central striker joining Calvert-Lewin and um, uh, Harry Kane. Does he offer a bit more than Calvert-Lewin? Calvert-Lewin scores a lot of his goals in between the posts and inside the six-yard box, doesn't he? Hmm. Um, who knows? Obviously, this squad will be bigger. Remember, there are always um, cuts at the last minute when we get to the Euro. So, that is the squad. Not too many surprises. Feels like the keeper's... Uh, up for grabs and a, a good nod for Sam Johnston there. We'll see what happens when Pickford returns to fitness. Um, in terms of the defenders, not much doing. We would have expected Shaw and Stones to be back in. Lingard is, um, you know, a, a feather in the cap for going out on loan and, you know, making you play again. Bellingham, that might free up a position, mightn't it? We'll see whether the quarantine. And Watkins, it was Watkins or Bamford by the sounds of it. Watkins gets the nod. Will he start him or will he play a second half in one of these games? We'll see. Remember, it's San Marino, Albania and Poland. So you'd think um, in the earlier games, uh, Poland not necessarily so, but certainly San Marino and Albania, there might be a chance for some fringe players, squad players to have a go at this. And it would be remiss of me not to say with my championship hat on here, I haven't covered the championship more than three seasons. Look at this. Dean Henderson, Sam Johnston... Reese James, Tyrone Mings, Connor Cody, Calvin Phillips, Mason Mount, Jude Bellingham, Ollie Watkins, all recent championship players, certainly going back um, the past few seasons. Um, so great representative for us championship fans. Let me know what your views are on the squad. We'll be doing watch-alongs for the game, um, particularly with those headline ones. So Johnston, uh, Shaw Stones, Lingard and Watkins, that is my reaction to Gareth Southgate's new, uh, newest England squad. Um, get your comments in and it's an over and out from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button. And to be notified every time we upload, ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go and watch another video.